Today we're going to use the firmware upgrade studio to upgrade a transmitter. We'll use port select to confirm it's connected. We're also going to use firmware upgrade. That's for most transmitters, excluding the MC32. We're going to do a voice download and we're going to do an emergency upgrade if you ever decide you needed it. Ready to go? Here we go. Clicking on firmware upgrade. Okay, we clicked on firmware upgrade. It has seven black boxes and that's what we chose firmware upgrade on the left there. So now we're going to go over to the box that says auto download and click on it. And the software looked out at the USB cable, saw that I had an MZ24 Pro, and we're going to pull up 2.025 English. Warning that the RF is going to be turned off, say yes. And now the upgrade begins. So this upgrade is the same for an MZ24 Pro and MZ18, etc, etc. The difference will be different files for different transmitters. So even the MC series and uh, all of the MZ series can be used uh, at firmware upgrade. The MZ32, however, has its own upgrade operation and it'll be used in a later video. We're going to jump ahead here so you don't have to wait for the green bar to finish. When we get done, we have a confirmation and we've just done the upgrade with the auto download function. Okay, so we'll close that window. Now we're going to go to the emergency upgrade. Emergency upgrade window has five black boxes. We start with the transmitter off in this case. So turn your transmitter off and we browse for the file just like we did before. Looking for the file. Sometimes I can't find downloads. There we go. And here's a file. There's an MC24 Pro version 2.029. I'll click open. What we're going to do is click on download start, but we do not turn on the transmitter until a certain point. We'll confirm that we know the warning is okay. And about here, we'll turn on the transmitter. The software will see that the transmitter got turned on and proceed with the software upgrade. If you didn't notice before, we had about all 500 files when we used the firmware upgrade with the auto update function. With the emergency upgrade, more files are loaded because it writes over a different section in the memory. File transfer is complete. I jumped ahead so you didn't have to wait for the whole, all 977 files to complete. And that continues with, that completes the emergency upgrade process. Okay, now we're going to do a voice download. I clicked on it on the left. The first thing you do is browse for the file. And go into downloads and we're going to use Voice 3 English Imperial 1101. Click on the open button after you've chosen the file. This other file there is one that I created that is much different. I'll show you about that later. When we load the file, it shows a 79%. That's not an error. I'm clicking on process to start it. It's not an error. It means that we used up 79% of the available space for the sound files. So when I hit download start over on the right, it started downloading the audio files to the transmitter. 725 files in this case and we're only up to 42. I'm going to jump ahead here in a minute so you don't have to wait for the whole process. It'll be done in a couple seconds. And this is all you need to do to do the audio updates. Again, emergency update and voice download is the same for all the transmitters except for the file differences. We're almost done. File download complete. And we've completed a voice package download. Closing that window. Have a good day. You're done.